How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and in this character spotlight, we have one of the OG characters finally getting a six-star update, and that is Yuki, the kind of character that just makes you want to take a trip to Target for an ice-cold case of Bud Light. I am so going to get ratioed for that one, ain't I? <laughs> oh, well, I don't care. Real is real. All right, Yuki is one of the original characters that we had here. And the thing is, this character, like, has gotten really, really minimal usage ever since the beginning of this. Um, uh, just a little tidbit, in case you didn't know, the character is a trap, hence the joke earlier. Just saying, okay, I'm throwing it out there, whatever. If you didn't know, now you do. But... Anyways, you know, the character really hasn't got that much use. Even on Global, when it was still running, you know, Yuki, you would find him in a few different groups here and there, and mostly PvP, but otherwise, not even that much. You know what I mean? Just wasn't a character that you got used used very much. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to the skills. I, you know, max character out, limit break, I got all the things. Let's see, 280 on the unique equipment, skills, everything's maxed out. So let's go ahead and see what the heck. Skill number one, I Dazzling Beauty. Dazzle something. Single target magic damage attack to the second closest enemy and puts a blind effect on them. So basically, whoever's second in line or whatever, boop, you're blind and damaged arena obvious based kind of mechanic so and it's actually kind of like a really common one i think maho has the same trick up her sleeves or in her fantasies or whatever skill number two i'm cute and i'll support you you don't have to i mean it's up to you really recovers the technique point gauge of the character with the most tp i always found that weird whoever has the most the high the fullest gauge gets a boost to get the gauge fuller i always thought that a little weird but maybe it has its benefit but here's something that they did with this character that I don't think they did with anyone else. Once you level the skill to 261, it also adds a physical attack power buff that will be applied to the same target as the TP buff. I don't think they've ever done that. It's, it's, it's like they did something and they were like, well, we need to make him a little bit better. So we're going to throw this little bit in and it was just like a second thought, you know, an afterthought, whatever. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It, correct me in, my, in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that's the only time I've ever seen that. EX skill increases magic attack power if you happen to have him at five stars or greater. It greatly increases magic attack power and also gives a slight physical defense increase. Yes, it's one of the old characters, and a lot of the old characters have like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I kind of wish they would mix things up a little bit and everything, and I'm just starting to get the gist of the character skills. To, I'm, I'm gonna get into that. The Union Burst. Bow down to my beauty. I choose not to. AOE magic damage attack with a physical defense reduction. Um, debuff. That's weird, ain't it? Magic damage, but physical defense reduction. I, I'll make my snide comment here in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and look at the unique equipment really quick. The Glitter Compact, it upgrades Beauty That Dazzles Me skill, skill number one, to deal a little bit more damage, and it also adds a charming effect. So, you gotta have the mirror for the mirror. And this is a unique equipment that I can agree with. Okay, the character already has the weapon with the mirror and everything, and got a little subcompact, boop, boop, whatever the heck, so you can look at yourself and be like, hmm, ugly today too, sad time. So... Yeah, it's a it's unique equipment that's like, okay, it's not the equipment that they already had to do. Because you know what I'm getting at. Never mind. I, I keep ranting about stupid crap. Okay, what well, you guys really, really, really want to know. The Six Star Union Burst. Behold the Advent God of Beauty. I'm changing my religion. AoE magic damage attack to all enemies on the field. But... If the enemy's physical defense is lower than magic defense, it will deal the damage as if it's physical instead. Basically, he does his attack, and whatever defense is lower is how the damage is going to apply, so therefore it will do a little bit more damage. I kind of like that. Change the sides. It's either or. See where I'm getting at out in a minute. It also lowers the physical defense of all enemies and charms the entire field for almost four seconds. Now, this is obviously, obviously an arena character. It has been for the longest time. 
still is kind of like a ss tier ss plus tier in the arena but here's the thing and let me go ahead and throw ain't got no special event or anything i'm sitting here trying to figure out okay what to do i was like oh wait i kind of still need to do like some of the side quest events and pecos okay uh, and just try to get some like random shards because who knows we might have like another trifecta of six star summer characters coming soon so i'm just trying to prepare all right yuki get in there and do your thing whatever okay uh the thing that i was kind of getting to at and the union burst definitely got a lot better the animate and animation the animation there yeah i'll probably go through this at least tw two times okay so th th that's the thing it it's either or right it's physical or magic and a couple of the skills are like this kind of that or it kind of does this kind of does that okay work with me here you know it is a trap character it is a guy dressed as a girl the t in the lgbt right we're kind of going there and like it does one or the other it's kind of playing off of that with the skills and or am i reading into it too much am i just being a jerk am i getting ratioed that's whatever i drink guinness not bud light so don't do that anyways what good is this character? Okay. For the longest, longest time. And I'm doing this a couple of times just because... Why not, right? You don't really ever see this character used in any kind of PvE battles unless there was some real desperate need for a blinding effect or like clan battles where you're very early in global where you're running out of team members and you're, you're like, oh wait, Yuki has some physical defense reduction. Okay, bring him in. We, gotta, we, gotta, we need something. And then you'll see it. So PvE is just not... No, no. Uh, in the arena, even over on Global, yeah, you would see him around. But on JP... You know, I didn't start on JP right when the game got released. It was a little bit after. I never saw Yuki ever. And then uh, when he got the unique equipment, it's like, hmm... Okay, got a little bit better for the arena, especially with the charm effect. That's really... That's killer. But... Did I ever really see him as I'm climbing up the ladder? No, I really haven't. And I'm wondering if that's going to really, really change now with the six star mechanic, because you know, yeah, here we go again. You know, keep using up all my stamina. That's fine, Yuki, just use it all up. I'm thinking it's going to be a big yeah, because you got the blind effect. You have a full field charm that lasts for like four seconds. There could be some just like absolutely insane stuff going on unless counter groups start popping up because, you know, if she if he does his union burst and it doesn't do damage, a.k.a. He got shields or whatever out, then, of course, the status effect will not apply. That's a general rule with pretty much all the things, right? If you got a barrier up, you t it does it goes off, you take zero damage, whatever negative status effects that would normally hit you do not apply. That's not necessarily 100% true in all cases, but when it comes to like blinds and stuns and charms and stuff like that, it has been pretty consistent. So essentially, you know, you got the Ninan Go Burr group. You need Yuki Go Burr because Yuki is snow, right? Something so Burr, Yuki Go Burr. It makes more sense if you think about it. it really does. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Oh my God, I'm going to get ratioed or something. And I need to look up the definition of ratio because I don't know what the heck it means. I'm old, okay? I've heard the whole thing with uh, Activision, Call of Duty, all that crap going on with Nick Merckx and all this other kind of stuff and everything. So I kind of get the gist of it. I'm just trying to act older than I am old. I am old. Never mind. It's just stupid. But anyways, an OG character finally got a six star. Is it terribly disappointing? Well, if you like Arena, something tells me Yuki's going to do just fine for you in the Arena now. We'll actually see some freaking use. Unlike our six star Anna that we got, that a couple of people argue is like, oh, six star Anna, six star Anna, super good Arena and everything. Not supposed to be the Arena character. She was never meant to do this. It wasn't. That wasn't her original design. She was supposed to be PvE, not PvP. And then all of a sudden, it's PVE or EVP, EVP, Environmental Protection Agency or something, EV. Nope, that's the wrong unit. Anyways, I lost track of everything. Guys, this character, if, 
you know, we're all, I'm always comparing all the characters to Carol, who was at the bottom of the pit, the barrel down here, way down here at the bottom. Somebody else got past Carol. Who was it that got past Carol? Was it Anna? Anna, you down there? I can't remember if it was Anna, but Carol's still down there. If you care about the arena, then this character obviously is probably going to be one that you're going to want to work on. Serve you good, okay? You can do a fine job in the arena and just, like, mess with everybody's head. It's fine. It's... Oh, messing with people's heads. I keep throwing things in here that, you know, whatever. No, I don't even want a free case of Bud Light, but regardless of that, if you're paying attention to the arena and you want to do really good and you want a character that's going to do pretty decent, well, here you go. But otherwise, not an important character to get. So in terms of PvE, probably right down there with Carol. It's like, hey, Carol, how you doing? Now, here's a buddy for you. Oh, don't do that. But, you know... Outside of PvE, if you're doing the arena, all right, there you go. And this character, I guarantee you at this point, you play any amount of time or whatever you got this character. It ain't a nothing character. You ain't got to worry about getting this character. If you don't have the character right now, you will get the character just by default dumb at some point. Hooray. And we have another version of her coming up really, really soon, which will probably be my next video for Princess Connect Spotlights. I'm working on some Stella Fantasy stuff. Just keep an eye out for that, too. We'll see you in the next video.